I'm Libby Mianovich. I'm from Marshall, North Carolina, and my name of my business is Mija. Um, my husband and I create um, decorative fiber wall pieces. Uh, let's see, we have a website. It is www.mijafiberart.com. That's M-I-J-A-F-I-B-E-R-A-R-T. Um, both Jim and I um, were actually healthcare professionals up until early 99 when we decided that we wanted to make a shift in uh, our careers and what we were doing. And the way that it happened was is that we have a very good friend uh, who's a woodworker, Andy Costein, who's in, uh, who was a neighbor and a good friend of ours. And we went to him and said, how do you do this? And he said, why don't you come to a big wholesale show? And we did. And um, there, were, there were just hundreds and hundreds of um, exhibitors. And I walked into a booth and saw someone recycling sweaters and said, I want to recycle fabric. And that's where it started. Okay, so um, recycling, that philosophy has always been a really important part of um, you know, my belief system. So finding and going in that direction of actually recycling and reusing fabric was like the, the it was clearly the light bulb. It was like, oh, yes, go, this is what we have to do. I have people a lot of times say, well, you could just go out and buy this fabric. It's like, no, I can't because this is the philosophy. This is the way it works. So what we do, and my husband is really the best person to, he goes out and he finds, he finds, and mostly what we use is button down shirts because they have the right um, weight. They're not too, most of them aren't too heavy. You use dresses, skirts, pants, but nothing smaller than that because it's not enough fabric. Um, Jim is the forager gatherer. He's the extraordinaire at being able to go into a secondhand store. Goodwill is mo where we get most of our um, material, and he goes in there and is able to find all the great cotton. And uh, we use 100% cotton and 100% silk. I finally have moved into some silk, um, using silk now too. So. He gets that when it comes home. Um, it is, we have a big wall of shelving and the way that I catalog our um, supplies is by color. So it moves from one color down through the whole rainbow. So I have this big long wall, it's probably about 24 feet long with about six shelves and it's filled with about stacks this tall of different colored articles of clothing. So that's, so when we need to find, yeah. <laughs> so when we need to find something that's of a particular, you know, in a particular color, we we know where to go, and we we'll pull that pile out and go rummaging through it. Um, so the process is we start. Um, sometimes it's a particular fabric that has multiple colors in it that uh, is an inspiration. Sometimes it's. The fact that we want to do a black and white piece, Jim has been pushing for that for years and finally won. Um, sometimes it's uh, we want to do a really warm, cool combination. Um, you know, it just kind of depends on what our inventory is and what we want to do next as to where we start. But the process starts usually with me taking out about, oh, I don't know, anywhere from 30, 20 to 30 fabrics and making sort of an initial um, go through of finding fabrics that are going to work well together. And this is a long involved process that both of us are involved with in deciding and choosing the fabrics that will be part of a color scheme. We want to end up with um, at least 18 different fabrics that go from very light to very dark. And if you'll notice in our work, you will see that value change and, and it's, it's, it's a signature of our work. Yeah, 18, and if they're, yes, 18. If it's a double color scheme, like with warm and cools, it will be 30, something like that. And so there's a lot of, um, they, all, they have to work together. They all have to play well together, essentially. <laughs> all the fabrics do. So that's, the, that's where we start, and it's a lot of, um, you, the design wall is covered with little bits, wedges of fabric when we're doing this, and it's like, okay, this one, well, let's try that one. No, that one's no good, and it gets put aside. I mean, we can, we we'll, the, the studio is in chaos when we're doing this because we're pulling out big piles of fabric and trying this and cutting that and putting it up there. So, but it's a crucial part of the, part of the process because once we make that commitment to those fabrics, 
That's when, that's when we start cutting and assembling and sewing things together. And once that happens, we're, we're committed. So we both have to be okay with the, with the choice of all the fabrics that we choose. And sometimes if there isn't enough fabric, you know, if it's only a small amount that we have, um, then we have to find somebody who's gonna replace that. You know, something that's gonna replace that that's gonna work in. So sometimes there's multiple fabrics that will be in one slot, you know, and they, they'll switch. Um, so it's a, it's a complicated it's a complicated process, but we have a method behind our madness. Essentially, <laughs> I'm Libby Mianovich. I'm uh, with Mija Fiber Art, and you can find our work on the website at, at our website at www.mijafiberart.com. Thanks.